Hey guys, this is Eric from Geo Eagle Laser. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the camera system on the big laser cutting machine, the H1325. Okay, here you can see the camera here, and here is the button on the front panel to adjust the brightness of the light for the camera. I'm gonna show you. Okay. Now it's dim, and you can rotate this button to let it up. Okay, before we use the camera system, we have to install the software first. The setup is very simple, just click next. Finish. After you install the software, we have to install the drivers for the camera. For this machine, we choose SV300, and here the control card is 6445. Click OK. And choose install, then click perform. Now the driver is installed. Let's close the dialog. And now, let's launch the software. Okay, here we can see the interface of the software. The main area is for the design files, and this area is for the camera, and this area is the function area. To move the laser head, you can use the buttons here. If you want to move fast, you just uh, check the fast option, then click the button. Now the laser head is moving fast. First, we have to check if the coordinate system in software is matching the one in the machine. Now you can see the laser head is on top part of the working area, but the laser head on the machine is on the bottom area. So we have to adjust that. In files menu, there is a set per parameter menu item, click it, and in user parameters page, first we have to read the parameters from the machine. When it's finished, we need to change the home position to the bottom right then we just click right then we close the dialog and now you can see the laser head position is right okay before we cut in we have to calibrate the camera parameter click on in the model set page click on this camera parameter and calibration button and now you can see some parameters here. For doing the testing, we set the cutting parameters here. You can set speed and power. Now we, we, we are going to use a white paper for testing, so we lower down the power to just 15. Okay, now put uh, just a blank white paper under the laser head. In software, we click on cut circle, and you can see the machine cutting a circle here. And in this area, we can zoom out by the roller on your mouse, and you can see here the size of the picture area of the camera and you can see here the height is around 80 millimeter and the width is around 180 millimeter and now you can evaluate how big is the circle in the camera 
on my computer, it's like a 20 millimeter of diameter of the circle. So in the model set, we just choose the mark point type to circle and uh, we set the diameter to 20 millimeter and we set the similarity to 90% and now we can do a mesh test okay you can see the result here and you can see the actual size of the diameter here it's 18.912 remember this value and set it in here it's 18 0.912 then click on this calculate button to calibrate the ratio between the size in the camera and the size in the machine now it's down and we can just uh, do a test again here you can see the size in the camera is almost right click the auto ok button and now we need to do the second step of the calibration we just uh, cut across on the white paper when cutting is finished the laser head will move left and you can see in the picture here is the cross and just click the red button on the center of the cross to move the laser head and you can zoom in to make it accurate and now right click on the center of the cross again and the laser head will be moved to match the center of the picture and now we click on the calculation button in this dial to finish the calibration okay now the camera system is, is calibrated okay we can zoom out the picture first then we can do a test to cut a design using the camera system you have to add some mark points to the design you want to cut you can see here is the original design and the bottom one is the design for cutting here you can see some mark points three mark points and some cutting lines then you can export this cutting design to a PLT or DEXF file and in the camera software we just import the cutting design okay before cutting we need to choose the mark points select the first one and use this button to add the first mark points and select the second one use this button to add the second one and the third one okay after we set up the mark points we need to set the cutting parameters in the export page for the black layer we double click it the speed is set to 100 and the power we can set it to just 15 for cutting white paper and uncheck this option and in model set we need to choose the mark points according to our design here we choose the cross type and we set the width to 6 millimeter and height to 6 millimeter and uh, we set the long ones of the mark points okay after that we just uh, put our design on the working table
and now we can move the camera in the software here we go why you see the mark point in the picture the camera took you can right click on the mark points then the little head will move there and now in model set page we can do a mesh test okay here we go we find one mark points here click ok and now we can start cutting for camera cutting you have to uncheck this general cutting option first then we can do the test click on start button on the bottom of the software Sometimes you, you, you will get some problem. The little head will move to the bottom right to the working area. In this case, we just uncheck these two options. The mark first option and the back mark option. And we move the little head back to the back to the design. Okay, here we go. First align the mark points and now we can start again. Okay, you can see the camera is recognized the mark points first. After that the machine will start counting. Okay, it's down. So that's all for today.